Hello, everybody, and welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Back with another three for Thursday and some more Remingtons for you. Now, I'm cheating a little bit because only two of these are bullet knives. This is a Remington, but it's not a bullet knife, but it's the same style. This is sort of the fishing edition, uh, I guess we could call it, because all of these are the same body style or the same frame uh, on the knife, just the blades may be a little different. Okay, and they're all the either fishing or large toothpick style knives. So let's start with this one. This is not a bullet knife. This is actually something that uh, Remington did in conjunction with Stren. And if any of you fish, you know, Stren makes fishing line. Uh, and they sold these. I don't remember the exact year on it, but, uh, you know, it's got the the Delrin, jigged Delrin scales, or maybe not Delrin, but some type of uh, polymer. You've got the nickel silver bolsters on here. You have the little fish scaler, uh, hook disgorger, and, you know, you, fishing knife. You got to be able to open your bottles, right? So a cap lifter. And then you have the large clip point blade. You can see it's got the Remington uh, tang stamp, the Remington etching on here. Uh, on the other side, it says limited edition, one of 5,000. So they made 5,000 of these for Stren and sold them. Uh, I picked this up on eBay a few years ago. Uh, you know, I think it's reasonably well put together. Uh, fit and finish pretty good. This would have been one of the Camillus made models. And then we have these two. This is the R1613 and the 1615T, okay? And as you can see, the frame is basically the same on this as on this knife, just you don't have uh, the, the little embellishment on the bolsters, the threading on this one. Uh, and this is only a single blade rather than the two layer uh, knife here. This bullet knife, as I said, is the 1613. See, you have the composite scales, the nickel silver bolsters with substantial threading, Remington etch and tang stamp. And then on the other side, this one is from 1987. And again, very nice knife, nice large toothpick on here. This one is called the Fisherman. Okay. Uh, this was called the Angler's Knife when it came out, by the way. But this is the Fisherman. And again, quite a nice little knife from the Camillus years for Remington. And then finally, the 1615T. Very similar to this. Uh, and this one is called the Mariner. Right, so nautical water themes all around. This one has the faux tortoise shell. Otherwise, you've got the same basic knife as here. Hold on one second. Get this out again. Okay. I mean, you can see these are virtually identical, except for the tortoise shell on this same threading and everything. This one is from 2001. So 14 years between these two. This one was also Camillus, uh, but you can see it has this faux tortoise shell on it. Otherwise, the same basic knife as that. <coughs> Excuse me. And as I said, uh, few weeks ago, you know, that was one of the Remington's innovations is that they use the same frame for a lot of different knives. So there we go. Three for Thursday. Have enough Remingtons for at least one or two more of these. There you go. Have a good day. I'll catch you next time.